Hello! Welcome back. My name is Killian. We are now on episode 4 of Pokemon Unbound. In the last episode, we caught a Duskull and we evolved our Metang. Look at him. He's so good. We also got our first gym badge from a gym leader that turned out to be a stoner and a drug dealer, which is pretty damn cool. <laughs> but yeah, we're just gonna keep things rolling. Aha. If you can beat me, I'll heal your Pokemon. I thought that was a free heal. Okay, yeah, we do need this heal. Quite badly. <laughs> um, Ice Ball. Oh god. This is going to be a long battle. Or not. Alright. This is where it gets a bit difficult. This is where it becomes a problem. Alright, let's just go in, let's confusion, use our power gen. One hit. What? Metal Claw maybe? Okay, that'll do. One more. Oh yeah, easy XP. Yeah, I think this suit's an easy one. Dark as well, 40, but especially well on a foe that is switching out. Hmm, we've got Metal Claw. We don't need two steel moves. Pursuit, nicely done. Andrew level 20. Magita level 21. Okay. Dusko level 15. Okay. 16. Yes. Everyone's getting levels. Okay. Shadow Sneak. Disable. Confuse Ray. Nightshade. An attack with a mirage that inflicts damage matching the user's level. Okay, let's not line up. Healing time! Are you a free heal now? Yep, yeah, free heal. Okay, we're definitely gonna need that, if that's that. Ooh! Okay. Wait, how are we gonna get that? Is that like a lava surf or something in this game? That'd be pretty damn cool. Okay. Looks like we had three ways to go there. Torco. If only you had a Mega Evolution. Imagine a Mega Evolution Torco. How cool that would look. Okay, level 17, but not female. God damn it. That's gonna hurt. Oh my god. So we need to stop the shadows from getting Moltres at the top of this volcano. And we have three ways to go here? Drill burr, okay. We can't escape from anything! What's this? Strange creature was sucked into the cube. Oh! Okay. So that's for Zygarde that we saw in the last episode. Go up the ladder. Oh, I thought you were gonna help me. Oops. Ruba. Easy down. Alright. Sphere holding on by a thread. Jesus Christ. Imagine if this was a dead end. I don't mind fighting you. I heard there was a rare p bird type. Rare? It's a fucking legendary. Mawile, okay. Steel Dark, that's just Water Gun. That's powerful. Another one bites the dust. Another ladder. 
I need the XP. I'm just gonna fight everyone and probably skip it in the edit. It's about to get lit! I love the use of this sprite. I haven't seen it for so long. Just the still with like the 32 bit kind of style. It's just so cool. Yes. Brian's quite powerful, yeah. First HP is down to half. This type of double the damage. Okay. Everyone's learning moves. Let's see. Makes the user attack after the foe. In return, it will not miss. Hmm. Arm thrust is too weak. So many different routes to go. Hopefully they all lead the same way. Have a look at my fire resistant Pokemon. You just send a grass type out and said they were fire resistant. Another frickin' poison. Do we have any full heals? No. Trainer tips. One time use items are returned to you after important battles, such as against gym leaders, using them to help strengthen your team and give yourself an edge. Cool. So you're that way. Incinerate! Okay, that was the one that was going to melt the gems, wasn't it? Now we just need a fire type. Sveal survived the poison. What? Okay, let's do some heals then. And then Berry Dude can go to Duskull. God damn! This way. Here we go. One with the wind, one with the flames. A raging inferno, a world on fire. Sancrin Bolganone! Heed my call, Moltres. Come to me. Now, Shadow Warriors, restrain it. Imagine grabbing a bird that is literally on fire. Mission complete. Let's move out. Hey! Stop right there, Shadow. Release the Moltres you captured. I'm sorry, but unfortunately I won't be able to do that. It is too vital to our plans. And besides, I wouldn't belittle myself to listen to someone of the likes of you. I'm not letting you leave until that Pokemon is free. Prepare for a battle. Alright then, indulge yourself in your request. But no, when you lose, I'll have my Pokemon obliterate you. Go, Insin. Ivory, wait! Ivory, you don't have time to fight this trainer right now. We have a tight schedule to keep. Get going. I'll hold him at bay while you escape. Let's go, Shadow Warriors. So that Ivory guy's new, I think. Drat, they escaped with Moltres. Killian, did you see that? I'm a little embarrassed. Say, now you're here, why don't you and I team up? I'm having a little more difficulty than anticipated. Hell yeah. Load of double battles coming up. You lead and I'll follow. I'll make sure to keep us both healed too. While teamed up with Jax, the first three viable Pokemon in your party will be selected for battle. Okay. Let's sort that out then. Um, that's fine. We got this. 
We got this. We got this. I mean, he just got bodied, but hey ho. Calcium. Hell yeah. So that might mean the battles are about to get way more difficult. So is every battle a double battle now? Even like the regular trainers? Tell me he has a smeggle. Yep. Hell yeah. Let's see, what's he got? It's the Ravian Magnite Golem. Okay. He's got a nice a nice team. Oh. That's an easy down. Hell yeah. Let's fight for him. Nice and easy. Oh yeah, here we go. 2% of the cells. Jesus, this is going to take so long. Hidden item. Dusk ball. Very nice. Okay. What does that do? Looks like we reached the exit, Killian. I'll go ahead. Don't stay too far behind. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Dust Skull, use Shadow Sneak. Skull. You actually just use Shadow Sneak. You know nothing about matchups. Story V, use every lace. No shadowy reign of terror and zero now. I won't let you escape from Cinder Volcano with Moltres in my hand. Shadowy reign of terror. Seriously, stop treating this like it's some sort of game. We're well within our rights to capture Moltres. You may have some self-righteousness notion that when <laughs> doing this evil, but you're wrong. You simply don't understand what's at stake here. It's not worth it, Marlon. Someone like him could never understand what we're fighting for. Hiya! You just kick him in the face. You just kick the kid in the face. Moltres sealed away. I'm heading back to HQ. You might want to take care of that kid watching before you join me. I may not have have had a real Pokemon battle in a long time, but I'm still skilled enough to fight you. Wait! Killian, I'm going to help you out against them. I don't care if he tries to justify their actions or not. The shadows need to be stopped. Yeah, go on. Oh god. Alright. Enter. 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 I'll assist you in your battle, Marlon, sir. Here we go. The sprites are pretty cool. I like the way they designed them. Way cooler outfits than any, like, mainstream uh, game. That's good. You should have done that on the shift tree. But force palm's gonna do a lot. Nice. And we get the paralysis. Okay. Confuse ray is not good. One more time. Break through, please. Well, oh, don't have to. Ah, oh, but our force palm isn't gonna be effective on him. Field 24. Yeah, it doesn't affect. Damn it. Alright, we're both confused. Breakthrough with aerial ace. Nice. A knock off might come through. No. 
Cool, breakthrough again. Nicely done. And then Makihita can break out and then just knock off. 24's evolution. We're gonna get uh, Hirayama. Of course it failed. Why didn't you just bring him out? That's so dead. Now we use knockoff. You're still confused. God damn, these confused rays. The RNG. Yes! Is that one hit? Oh, so close. That's gonna hurt, isn't it? Not really. Sorry if he's faster. We take him out. Easy. I'm sorry, Marlon, sir. Easy. We're getting a load of money. And the evolution. Evolutions in back to back episodes. Here we go. Here's our tank. Congratulations, your Makuhito evolved into Hariyama. Well, I'll retreat for now, but I won't forget this. You'll be seeing us again soon. I guarantee it. Let's head back to my grandfather's house, and I'll tell him what happened. Ah, oh, so a nice easy hour there. Hmm, this isn't good. At this point, only one legendary bird remains. Zapdos. It's imperative that it be rescued before the shadows can capture it. Understood, Grandpa. I'll go right away. Actually, Jax, I have a different task for you. To the best of my knowledge, the shadows are still missing the object used to sail away the Dark Force. A friend of mine that lives on Route 9 should know its location. Go to him and explain the situation. I'm sure he'll be willing to help us find it before the shadows do. Okay, Grandpa. Good, good. As for you, Killian, I want you to head to Thundercap Mountain and save Zapdos. You've, you've proven yourself by defending Jax in Cinder Volcano, and I think you're up for the task. You can now get to Thundercap Mount mountain by taking the highway to the southeast from the next town over crater town if you don't hurry the boreas region will be doomed mission details have been updated again i'll be heading back to frozen heights Killian. i'll let your mother know what the situation is we're really gonna be gone for months on end and the professor's like don't worry about it he's just gone like battling some sort of like crime syndicate my Staravia will be pretty weak from that fight before, but I should be able to give you a ride back up to the Cinder Volcano. Would you like a ride back to the Cinder Volcano? I guess. Is that where we need to go? I guess we have to go this way? Look at the HP on him now! Hell yeah. Talk to Lapras to ride it down the waterfall. Where's the Lapras then? So we have to go. There's a lava waterfall there. We need a female one of these so badly. So where do we have to go? Unless we do just need to head down here. doesn't have intimidate. Ah, oh, here we go. Hello, Lapras. Whee! Nice one. Route 5. This grass looks weird. You're gonna wanna fight. Route 5, Valley Wood. Route 4, Cinder Volcano. And then downwards, Crater Town. Pokemon Daycare. It's a good thing we uh, got that lift. 
don't want to go there. Let's see what we can get on here. Oh god. Oh god. No, not you. You would be pretty good, but we'll need a moonstone to get to Nidder King. Another trainer tip. Keep an eye out for trees with a shady area below them. Between them. These indicate hidden grottos and can be found. Okay. Special areas have been appearing en masse ever since a meteorite strike. Simply interact with the trees and prepare to face a tough Pokemon. And in fact, if you use cut, you'll even find one on this route. So earn the vision badge from the Crater Town gym and then come back here to find it. Cool! Running, 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 running. Pokemon Daycare. I've been researching the relationship between incense and Pokemon breeding. It's slow, but it would be faster if someone helped me out. So, would you like to help me out with the research? Great. To start off, please bring me a Budu. Oh, go away. I know the student Pokemon breeder, blah, 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 blah. Seemed like an important trainer. Yeah. Oh. Should have probably read what they were saying. What? Okay. This isn't going to be as easy a battle as I thought it was going to be. The hairy armor can take anyone down. You're an easy takedown. What have you got last? Ropes. Okay. Trace. Clear body. Okay. That was easy. <laughs> So we can do that daily. That's interesting. Great ball! Okay. A good quality ball that offers higher Pokemon catch rate than a standard Pokeball. Trainer tips. Press hard to create your own from our battles. Cool. What's this say? Do five value words, create down, yep. Cool. Heal. 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 Woo. Ooh, listen to the music. It's like a lo-fi version. You know that Vega fellow? It's always dark and moody. Ha ha! Yeah. All Pokemon have abilities which can be used in battles. Blah, blah, blah. Some abilities have even uses outside of battle too. For example, Pokemon... The ability Flash Fire is in the first slot, then you'll be more likely to encounter wild Pokemon that are the fire type. Okay. Okay, okay. There are rumors of a rare Pokemon known as Carbink appearing in the KBD KBT Expressway. However, the rumors indicate that they can only be found behind the collapsed doorways that litter the tunnel. If only there were some way to mine through the rubble. Hmm. Had there's someone in Tarmigan Town who teaches the art of Mega Evolution. <gasps> mega Evolution! We're gonna have a Mega Metagross. Oh my god. Hey trainer! What? You want me to say something interesting? Fine then. Lately I've been having trouble with my brother. He's gotten himself in deep with this gang calling themselves the Black Embor. I don't really know what that's all about, but I'm really worried for his safety. I haven't spoken to him in days, so I'm afraid something bad has happened to him. What's that? You'd be willing to check up on him for me? Sure. Thank you. You can probably find my brother in the Northern KBT Expressway. I'd go myself, but I'm too weak of a trainer. They say the Black Ember are insanely vicious. We like vicious? What the hell? Mata mata. Wait for signal. Whisper whisper. Ass out on lookout. Mata mata. Okay. I'm the Pokemon Move Maniac. 
I know every single move that Pokemon learned growing up. I'm also a heart scale maniac. Bring me a heart scale. If you do that for me, I'll teach move to one of your Pokemon. Thirty years ago, a large meteorite was hurtling towards Boreas. The astronomers at Cube Corp predicted that if it wasn't stopped, it would fall directly on the valley city, this city, and end all life living here. With great haste, we began our evacuation of the city. As we were about to make our escape through the KBT Expressway, we heard the news the meteorite was now predicted to crush half of the region. If we attempted to flee the underground, there would be a large chance we'd be buried alive. Chaos ensued. I was thought hopeless until he arrived, Aros the legend. He arrived alongside Arceus and used a small Pokemon to teleport everyone to the East Boreas for safe from harm. He planned to attack the meteorite head on and smash it to bits. Once he had transported everyone to safety, it is said that he rode on a Rayquaza and smashed it into the meteorite, shattered and most of the smaller fragments fell on the valley city. The city was destroyed, but Aros had saved the region. I will never forget the heroic act that man had performed. So our dad is a top Donny. My grandfather survived the meteorite strike lots of years ago. He even made a friend with a Pokemon that fell from the stars. So he knows about the Oxus. We'll have to come back to him. Have you ever used the KBT Expressway? It's an underground highway that goes most of West Boris. The acronym KBT is short for King Boreas III. He was the King of Boreas that created the concept of a region-wide highway. Fair play to him. Another slime! We've collected 3%. Whoa. Okay. So that looks like it might be... the route. Take us to the next thing. Crates down. Town built from ash. Okay. Can we get more great balls? No. But we can get super potions. Get 20 of them. Yup. And then... Can't get full heals. We can get some more repels though. got 10 pokeballs, we'll be fine. Oh, it's you, champ in the making. I didn't see you there. Welcome to Crate Town Gym. Let's start off with some fresh water. Hell yeah. So you cannot kind of see, this is gym centered around dark types. If you want to win here, a good starting point would be bring fighting bug or fairy types. Just be aware. Just be aware. Because of the many trainers that struggle in this gym, negative emotions will fill the air as you battle. These emotions will inflict damage at each at the end of each turn. Only dark types, ghost types, and Pokemon with the ability to magic guard, unaware or oblivious are unaffected by these emotions. If you end up struggling because of the negative emotions, bringing a Pokemon that isn't affected could really help you out. Now Getting to Vega, the leader is relatively simple. Navigate the dimly lit hallways and don't get spotted. If you do get spotted, you'll either have to battle trainers or be sent back to the beginning of the hallway. Every trainer you defeat will brighten up the room. So I recommend battling them all first. Good luck out there. But this is like um, Emerald, Sapphire and Ruby. Oh. Okay. According to my calculations, victory is assured 100%. So basically just need to get something... Basically need to just brighten up the room a little bit. Negative emotions fill the air. X attack. That's an issue. That could be a very big issue. Unless we take him out first time. Hell yeah. Harry Arm is just gonna... He's gonna ruin this place. Looks like my calculations were incorrect. Ooh, a little more. A little more. 
this a double battle? Hell yeah! I love double battles. Murkrow, Houndor. Carry on the sand shrew. Fight. Force palm. Ooh. Okay, focusing on Hariyama. But we one shot. Feel level 25. God damn it. Sancho is tormented by the negative emotions. Oh. That could be a problem. This then if rollout isn't working. That's alright damage. Confuse ray will come in clutch. Let's go. Hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself, yes. Oh, there we go. Way too easy. Hey! It looks like not even myths are invincible. Very true. Oh, we've got a nice open. What the hell? Where were we? I thought we were back at the start. We need a crit. basically just fighting everyone in here. How the hell are we meant to do this then? Oh my god. Right. Ugh. Oh my god. I hate my life. <sighs> oh my god. 
Ah, I see a challenger has passed my test. Tell me what's your name. Killian, I see. Whisper, mutter, whisper. I'm Vega, the leader of the Crater Town Gym. There is somber atmosphere of, of this town. Has allowed me to channel all of the dark energy into one place. Are you prepared to face it? Yeah, I guess. Bring it on. Lipard, okay. Negative emotions for the earth. Fight, fight each other. Yeek. Vital throw. One shot, okay. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. That's the team, yep. Cool. Negative emotion, that's not good. Yep. Let's hold on to Sphere. Sandshrew, then heal Hirayama. I think that's the play. What does knockoff do? God damn it. Into emotions again. Rapid spin? No. I thought it was a promo to move. Damn it. Metang. You can get a metal claw off with you, right? Yes, we can. Come on. You're not going to survive that. No. Okay, that's fine. Here I am as the MVP. Got what you got. Yes! Okay. Okay. Dusk go 23. That's what we like to see. Negative emotions. That's fine. Sneasel could be a one hit. He's gonna be faster. Prepare yourself for my trump card. Trump card? He's level 21. Your absolute was level 23. Oh, I don't know. Come on. That is nothing. Vital throw. One hit. There we go! A second gym badge. Ooh! Level 26. I'm trying to use smelling salt? Yes, what does that do? Doubly effective on a paralyzed foe. But it also cures the foe's paralysis. Okay. Let's get rid of sand attack then. Might be good. I don't know. In XP. You defeated leader Vega. Hell yeah. As proof of your victory at the Crater Town Gym. Take the fishing badge. That's pretty cool. Get a six set of shades. The vision badge makes all Pokemon up to level 40 obey you. That includes even outsiders you receive in a trade. You can now also use the HM cut anytime outside of battle. Use it to cut down small trees to open up new pathways. I want to I want you to have my favourite TM as well. Thief. Okay, you didn't use it at all, but fine. That teaches Thief. It's the perfect TM for any secret agent. One last piece of advice. Try to stay in the light and out of the shadows as much as possible. If you follow this advice, it will not bring you to ruin. I promise. Nice. 
too complicated, why does it make no sense? Alright. Not getting caught yet again. Well done! You managed to find your way through the dark and take down Vega. Take this as an extra reward. Dark gem. That looks pretty cool. Reminds me of like the Chaos Emeralds from Sonic. That gem I gave you can power up a single dark type move in battle. With it, you can unleash your dark fury. Wahahaha. <laughs> nice. Oh. The asset has some word. The target is on the move. Alright then. Let's move into position. Alright, I think that's the perfect time to leave it here. We get our second gym badge, Hirayama being the MVP, and we are going to move in to stopping Team Shadow from getting Zapdos in the next episode, by the looks of it. But other than that, I'm concluding this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. It does help me out a lot. And leave a comment if you would like me to catch any Pokemon you've seen on the route, or if you know anything about this game, and because I'm going to need help with it. I am going to need help with it. That was pretty damn intense, especially with that negative emotion thing. It's a nice little touch, though. But with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace!